Greetings, YouTube. You know, season two just ended, and we saw more drama than an episode of Jerry Springer toward the end. So many allegations of collusion and piloting, and the allegations were made even worse by apparent screenshots that may or may not have been fake, and then former members of alliances coming out and apparently ratting on their former members. And that could have been a lie. So much drama. So much speculation. And so much uh, thought process in terms of punishment and potential punishment. And yet, here we are staring at the Season 2 Final Rankings. And you can see in Rank 3... For the top master bracket is MMXIV, the alliance that has been under so much controversy. And so the question becomes, how should we feel about this as a community? Personally, I, I don't know if I care enough to really be angry, even if everything is true, because I'm not surprised, right? Like... They probably couldn't prove anything. I've heard all these stories which blow my mind. Like, I started playing this game after I saw Symbiote Spidey, probably I think a special three in a commercial on a Swag Bucks video. And I just started playing this game a couple years ago just to have fun and to take a break from grading student projects. That's really why I started. But this has become like the first job. For so many people. And this has also become something that so many people spend the majority of their money on. This is a Marvel casino, if you will. And uh, the only outcome is <laughs> really uh, either, I guess, significant emotional highs or significant emotional lows, depending on the random number generator. But I would imagine this morning that I am in the minority in some ways because there's probably a lot of people who are as cynical as ever. I think the uh, takeaway is that Kabam really just can't prove that much when it comes to collusion and even piloting to a certain extent. I have seen story upon story, and it just blows my mind that this could be the case. But I've just seen story upon story that like, alliances are so good at hiding, piloting now, that they can hire people from across the world to buy burner phones or burner iPads. Like, that's something I think would happen in the Cayman Islands when you're trying to hide the money that you've embezzled. Not a, a mobile video game. And yet, it's happening. And if you hide... VPNs and other things that I can pretend to know about, but really I have no idea what the heck all that is. Uh, how can you how can you trace it? So we are in the steroid era of Marvel Contest of Champions. We are in the steroid era where it's just assumed that everybody at the top is cheating and doing everything they can to get an advantage. And I really feel sorry for any of the top alliances that aren't cheating. And yet, because of this steroid era, they are playing the Barry Bonds of alliances, even though I guess that analogy really doesn't work because I still think Barry Bonds was an incredible baseball player. Regardless of steroids, that is a discussion and a debate for another time. But so much drama for nothing, right? Like, there wasn't really a demotion. There there wasn't really anything. And, and these alliances, you know, let's be real. They do keep the lights on for Kabam. They do keep their profit margins up. And so unless there was just this undeniable proof that they needed to be knocked down, I'm sure Kabam just can say, hey, you know, it's just speculation. So we're not going to punish an alliance that uh, really is funding our pockets. But at the same time, it's just, I don't know, so much drama for nothing. I know I just keep saying that, but man. I uh, I can't believe the amount of the mob mentality of comments I got when I was just asking the community, you know, what should happen? What should be the punishment? And there were some people who said lifetime bans, kind of like with that steroid analogy. Lifetime bans for everybody in the alliance. This needs to be an uh, example, not a slap on the wrist. 
Uh, those of you who thought there just should be a slap on the wrist, I don't think there was even a slap on the wrist, right? There was maybe a, uh, a handshake instead of a slap on the wrist. So I think, um, I think it's a really interesting place that we're at right now. And personally, I've said this in other videos, and I'll say this now. Alliance War, as it stands, the seasons, it's just not worth it. Like, it's not worth it at all. I don't get it. I don't get why the rewards in anyone's mind can justify, at least in these top alliances especially, the stress of, you know, die three times, get kicked. It's it's easier to pay someone from across the world to fight your fights than it is to deal with the pressure of not succeeding against defenders that continue to be created to only take your health and your revives in unfair manners, especially on the BS nodes at the top. But yeah, all the drama, all the speculation, for nothing. So I guess I should say congrats to those of you on screen and those of you in MMX IV. I had somebody defend them who's in the alliance and they called everything basically that was brought up even from the former members a total lie and maybe they were right i don't know i know there were some people who commented very uh very much that they couldn't believe that there was even a one percent chance that that claim was true clearly somebody lied because it's either you you can't have it both ways right either you piloted or you didn't either you paid people to run your fights or you didn't I, I don't know I'm rambling at this point I'm just kind of trying to process everything it's very early in the morning I couldn't sleep so I decided just to check the standings and when I saw MMX IV was in third I thought yeah that's about right that sounds about right but personally I've never had uh, less trust in Kabam to actually stay with their uh, claim of enforcement i think that this is just going to continue to go on in other alliances and i also think that if july 4th comes around and their opportunity to actually have a plus plus value offers doesn't happen and they essentially turn their back on the community at a time when the community needs them the most that is when i will personally be for some kind of boycott again because it's just um it's just kind of disheartening i don't know and i know that i probably sound like i'm being too cynical and maybe i am right maybe i am being too cynical but i just kind of lost any faith i had in enforcement and maybe we've just gotten to a point where the technology is so good that it's impossible to trace cheating to a certain level it's like the analogy that if you arm your law enforcement with shotguns, they'll find semi-automatics. And then if you you know give semi-automatics, they'll convert to fully automatic. So they're always going to be one step ahead of the police, essentially. And so if Kabam is trying to police cheating, uh, the cheaters will always find a way. <laughs> and this whole burner phone thing, that's what, like, I used to hear about that with people and their mistress, right? We're going from mistresses to the mistresses of Alliance War. I don't I don't know. There's so much seriousness to this. I just, I don't get it. Well, what do you think? Uh, do you not care about this? Are you like, you know what, whatever. I, good for them. Give them the rewards. Or are you ticked off? Are you one of those people who thought that everybody in that alliance should be stripped of all rewards and get a uh, ban or at least a tag that called them cheaters and now it looks like they got nothing like does that anger you I, i'm not telling you what to think i have no idea i just uh i just think it's interesting because the 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 mob mentality and the outrage was just it was everywhere everywhere in the game and it was all for naught really but if you guys didn't cheat and if it was all a lie then congrats on getting your rewards i think they were well deserved but i don't know if that's true if you did cheat and you got away with it, damn, what a world we live in. That's kind of the two, the two alternatives. All right, well, here we are, ending another video. And I'll say it again, as the title of this video surely will be, 
all that drama for nothing.